All week, we track the X5.1 flare from Region 4274 and the geomagnetic storm that followed. The part that needs clear explanation now is the ground-level event linked to that flare. A ground-level event, or GLE, is the rare moment when solar particles reach Earth with enough energy to show up in detector data at the surface. The atmosphere usually stops almost everything. Only the fastest particles ever break through, and that is why there have been just 77 confirmed events since the early 1940s. The first indicator came from GOES satellite data. Proton counts in the highest energy channels rose within minutes of the flare peak at 10.04 UTC. That is the signature of particles traveling close to light speed. Ground detectors in the global network then logged a coordinated increase. When satellite and multiple ground readings rise together inside the same narrow time window, the event moves into GLE status. That threshold was met, and the record is now listed as GLE-77. These particles arrived ahead of the CME that caused the radio issues and auroras because they moved far faster than the bulk plasma. Their quick arrival shows the flare in AR-4274 produced a strong acceleration channel directed toward Earth at the moment of eruption. NOAA is now merging the corrected neutron monitor logs with the satellite flux record. When that merge closes, they will post the final strength rating for GLE-77 and update any outstanding operational guidance for aviation and satellite operators.